Chairman Police Service Commission, Musilu Smith, has raised the alarm that if care is not taken, Nigeria may face the death of policemen in the nearest future, which may make the campaign against crime and criminality more difficult. He made the observation at the one-day Southwest Zone Police Recruitment Sensitization Forum at the Kola Dice Civic Center, Idiakwa Ibadan, Oyo State. Smith, retired Inspector General of Police, noted that the strength of the Nigerian police of many years was far below the United Nations. The United Nations recommended police population ratio. He added that his fears stemmed from the inability of many states to meet up with police recruitment quota allocated to them. He explained that the sensitization forum was organized by the PSC towards gathering relevant information and finding lasting solution on why youth in many states have apathy for police job. In spite of the fact that the country is lagging behind in the ideal number of personnel that should police over 200 million Nigerians. He stated that in the previous recruitment exercises carried out, states in the southwest geopolitical zone did not meet up with the quota allocated to them each. He noted that those that applied, many of them were dropped on medical grounds because they have high blood pressure, tuberculosis and other medical conditions. Smith particularly accused some traditional rulers of demanding money from applicants for police jobs for them to sign their form or to give them letters of introduction, saying such unwholesome practices must stop for a better future for the nation. He also noted that some traditional rulers and local government officials were also in the habit of giving letters of introduction and citizenship certificates to non indigenous of their states on pecuniary gains with a view to filling the quota allocated to their states. He stated that the Nigerian police ought to have the strength and the personnel are not supposed to work with only their blood, hands and brain. Saying, modern policing is very much dependent on modern security equipment. I am sure you will agree with me that they were not yet near providing necessary security gadgets that can modernize and help policing our country, policing our country effectively. I am not saying the government is not trying, but I think the government should try more, so that as we are improving the strength of the police, virtually everything the police need to use to support themselves, the government should provide.